Here's the thing, so much has changed since I was the one watching all the college advice YouTube videos and by that I mean the pandemic happened and now online classes and hybrid classes are a thing. Hi, I'm Jules. I am taking up BS Information Technology and Entrepreneurship in the Ateneo de Manila University. So I've been studying college for two years now in my bedroom and for one summer semester having hybrid classes. And I think that makes me more than qualified to give the advice that many may want to hear. Maybe not, but then I'm still doing this anyway. <laughs> So in this video, I will attempt to share some wisdom and valuable insights that can help someone in their college life. And if it helped at least one person, then I think I did my job. Making friends, especially online. As much as possible, be good friends with your blockmates or at least your course mates because you will literally go through your entire four-year college life together. And I'm lucky to say that my blockmates and I are friends a man and when times are tough, we just call in Discord and motivate each other and give insights. And I know it's hard to get closer to people online, which is why I have three tips for you to get closer with people online. Number one, have a block course Discord. Just have a Discord channel because that's the easiest communication channel. Number two, initiate study sessions or working sessions on call together. Tell your blockmates like, oh, I'll be on Discord and I'll be working on this project for the whole night. Maybe you guys can get stuff done and even give feedback. Give feedback. What the f is <laughs> Get stuff done together and give feedback to each other. And in that way, you're getting close and also getting stuff done. Number three, engage in conversation. Ask questions like, what high school are you from? Or, Do you know this TikTok? Little things like that can actually go a long way when getting to know people for the first time. And number four, if all else fails, then I highly recommend that you play Draw Battle or We're Not Really Strangers. This is such a good icebreaker. As in, for me, this is tried, tested, and proven. Every time I play this with people, they have a really fun time. Another tip is also befriend your upper class men because as Nina Wang said, they are your best resource. Because they've been in your shoes, they know the classes you're taking and the props you might have. I mean, don't befriend them just for that. Like, get to know them, ask them for advice. And then, of course, another way to make friends in college is through your organization. So, obviously, the more organizations and clubs you join or the more active you are, the closer you get to people and the more chances for you to meet new people who are outside your course or who may not be in the same year level as you. So a lot of people ask, should I join org? What org should I join? How much org should I join? Should I take a leadership position? And all of the above. So let me address it in this point. So here's the truth about organization. They're fun. They're a great place to meet people. But at the same time, it is just a nice to have. Repeat that with me. Orgs are just a nice to have. I agree when my friend Mary said that org life sometimes is overrated. And take it from me, a girl who has been org active for maybe four years. So just to give credibility to the advice that I am about to give, I'll give you a brief overview of my org life. So I've been active in two organizations for my whole college life. I also joined the orientation seminar committee. I hosted a few events. I facilitated a few breakout rooms here and there. I previously held two leadership positions. And honestly, I can say that I did learn a lot. Well, you get to learn about the organization systems and structures how to run a meeting, how to write an agenda, how to timeline a project. But the moment you start getting burnt out from the work that you do, take that as a sign to take it slow or take a breather and pause. Because a lot of these org things require your time. Aside from your academics, you also have to make time for meeting. As much as, you know, making friends and meeting people is a plus, you really also have to put in the work. And I think the best advice I can give to people who want to be org active is that make sure you are doing this for the right reasons and not for self-serving ones. I'll actually be making a podcast episode on my org experience both as a member and as either both in high school and in college. So I will put that in the cards up here once I post it. Academics are not everything. I super agree with my friend Jag when she said that grades don't define you, but academics are still important. It's good to find that balance. Make sure you're still getting your coursework done, you're passing on time. Wag na wag papabayaan yung akads. As much as your studies should be a priority, it shouldn't be your only focus. Because you're in college, there are so many other things to do aside from just study. As much as I said don't subscribe to the hustle culture, it would also be a good idea to try things at least once. So you can take on internships, job opportunities, do freelance work, you know, pursue your passion projects and all of that. The thing about trying a lot of things in college is that you get to realize what you want and what you don't want. With this comes a lot of self-reflection and introspection as well. It's good to ask yourself like, do I like the work I'm doing right now? Do I like leading people in the organization? Am I better off as a member? Am I better at communicating or doing social media communication work rather than doing finance work and logistics work? And in the things you do, you also discover your strengths and your weaknesses. 
But here's the thing, I encourage exploration and curiosity. But don't just do things for the sake of putting something on your resume. Also be intentional about it. Make sure the work that you're doing is something that makes you happy or it's something that makes you grow. Also, if this is your thing, then I highly, highly recommend creating a LinkedIn account. I am so surprised that some people in college still don't know what a LinkedIn account is. Basically, it's like social media, but for your career stuff. It's like Facebook, but for networking and getting jobs. And I highly recommend that you start like building your LinkedIn as early as freshman year or even before that, just so you have like a professional profile or some sort. And of course, I also have highly recommend that people pursue their passion projects while they're in college. So that can be putting up a channel, a podcast, ahem, that's me. Guilty. And I have one tip for those who really want to be hustle culture mentality in college. I won't judge you for that. You do you. But I highly encourage you to carefully build your experience. Keyword, carefully. Do not attempt to do all things at once. So when I was a freshie in college, I was like, I want to do every single thing I can do all at the same time. And guess what? That backfired. I took on two internships, two organizations, and wanted to get the best grades all in the same year. And I was crying every single day from burnout. I highly do not recommend anyone to go through that phase because it sucks to do things one at a time or at least two at a time. And the thing is, you are playing the long game here. You're not in college for a year. You're in college for four years. So if you have goals, make sure to space them out and timeline that in the four-year course of your college life. Also, one last, if academics are not your thing, the bare minimum is to just be a good groupmate. I don't care if your individual work sucks or if you don't pass it, but don't drag other people down with you. Just be a good groupmate. Thank you very much. On the topic of motivation, burnout, and productivity, the honest truth is college won't be rainbows and sunshine every day. There will be times na super gapang kana and be like, ah, I hate this. I cannot get myself out of bed to do the work that I need to do. So once a week, I highly recommend that you plan your week in advance. So when it comes to the requirements you have to pass, the quizzes that you have to study for, and the meetings that you have to attend or initiate, you already have that all laid out in your Google Calendar or whatever your system is. Another tip that I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already said is to work some smarter and not harder. Basically, find ways to make studying or doing your requirements more efficient. So let's say you have a group work and it's based on readings. Then just divide the readings amongst yourselves. You don't have to read all the readings. You can just read one each. Or let's say when taking notes during lecture, you can have a shared Google Doc or a Notion page with your blockmate. And boom, you are done. And you are not doing it alone as well. That's what I mean by work smarting, by work smarting and not harding. <laughs> What am I saying? Also, self-care is a must. I know everyone says self-care, but it is so true. Play that Valorant game. Watch Netflix. Read book. Just have a hobby outside of work. Because if not, you will burn out. It's just so important to have something to look forward to. At the end of the day, at the end of the week, when everything is shitty and life gets hard, then, you know, you have things to fall back on. And just a humble and honest piece of advice. No matter what happens when it comes to productivity and achievements, don't compare your progress to others other people's progress. Other people's successes are not your own failure. And even though you're studying the same course as someone, your paths and your strengths are still different from theirs. And that's what you should focus on. Period. So habits. I'll just do a quick overview of habits. While we are in college, while we are still this young and flexible and moldable, we should already establish good habits as young as our age. Having a good set of habits to fall back on is important, especially when times get tough. So whether that be exercising, reading, or journaling, all of those things, you know, it's really good to have an outlet where you can just de-stress and let your mind off of things in a healthy way. I think what I want to emphasize here is having healthy coping mechanisms. If you need help in this department of making habits and breaking old ones, then I highly recommend that you read Atomic Habits by James Clear. I know everyone recommends this book, but for good reason. In the book Atomic Habits, James Clear asks the question, are you becoming the type of person you want to become? Habits are not about having something, it is about becoming someone. And a quick rundown on courses. If you want to shift courses or transfer schools, then I highly recommend that you discern as early as freshman year so that you won't take wasted classes or you know waste your time in a place where you will not grow anyway. Admittedly, when I went into ITE, I had no idea what it was, but eventually I learned more about it and I started loving what I learned. And I think having that mindset is so important, especially when times get tough, because you get to see the bigger picture of what you are learning and how it's making you grow as a college student and as a career person in the future. Honestly, there were times that I asked myself, like, am I in the right course? Should I just drop out of college and like leave all of this? So it's so important to just ground yourself, knowing that the struggles you are going through will eventually make sense in the future and will help you get the dream job or dream life that you are working towards. 
And on to mindset. So in college, it is okay to change your mind. It is okay to go through phases and have existential crises because the game that you're playing in college is not the same game you were playing in high school. Allow yourself to grow and be in uncomfy and challenging situations. So whether that be in your personal life, career, academics, and your identity. And also what's most important is to be honest with yourself. Be honest with what you're good at, what you want to grow in, what you want to learn, and what you want out of life. I think self-reflection is so important and you can do this through journaling or even having conversations with your peers or your mentors just so you get a different perspective and so that you situate yourself in the life that you want to have. And also, this is such basic advice, but don't be scared to ask questions. Like, I am one who, like, machine gun fires away questions because sayang naman, you know, these people have went through things and they know things better than you do. And some last bits and pieces of general advice is to stay in the moment but also think about the future. College will go by so fast and if you're too busy being busy, then you will miss opportunities to make memories with your friends, to meet new people, and just have fun in general. So make sure to find that healthy balance of hustling for your ahas and your career but also at the same time living in the moment, being in the present. Because the thing is, we will never be this young again. We will only go through college in our lives once and why not make it count? And I think the most important advice that I can impart is just to do what feels right to you. So do what's best for you, your career, and your context. Your path will definitely look different from others, and that's not a bad thing. And as much as I said so much in this video, I retweet the advice that my friend Justine said, which is to choose the advice that you will listen to. I think so many college advice videos don't even acknowledge this, but choose the advice you listen to. Everything I said, take it with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, just do what feels right to you and learn from your mistakes. So good luck in college, whether you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, or over that. I hope you are doing well and surviving and having the best college life that you can have. And I'm so proud of you for going through it because I know that it is isn't easy. I hope you liked this video and if it did help you, make sure to leave a comment or a like just so I can get validated, just so I can get validated. So I know that it at least helped just one person comment which college videos I should do next. Subscribe! Turn on notifications!